I've just been looking at the list of prescribed organisations by the United Kingdom, those on the list um, who are accepted to be terrorist organisations. And many, many of those listed, it's, it's very obvious and understandable as to why they are there. What I find deeply concerning, however, is that there are organisations that seem to exist on there and actually if you read the explanation as to why they've been added, it appears to be because they use armed resistance to, in the hopes of achieving their liberation. Now, I'm an aspiring pacifist and I absolutely don't agree and wouldn't tolerate and would always condemn the targeting of civilians. I have been very, very consistent with this because those are my values. But I find it deeply, deeply troubling when our government fails to recognise the rights of an oppressed and occupied people to use armed resistance as enshrined in international law. How quickly we forget our history if we consider, so for instance, the Channel Islands where I am from, we were occupied during our war and people resisted in the way they could. But actually just a few miles away from us, of course, you had Europe, um, France being the closest country next to us. And how many of us celebrate the bravery of the French resistance. Now looking at the list and my interpretation on it, of it, it would suggest that the French resistance would also have been considered a terrorist organisation by our government. So I really want people to consider whether they think this is reasonable and whether this is the direction we want our society to go down. And through doing that, recognise the danger it places all of us in. Surely our grandparents did not fight for this outcome.